Next team of challenges, please. What is your name, please? My name is Robert L. Scott, Jr. What is your name, please? My name is Robert L. Scott, Jr. What is your name, please? My name is Robert L. Scott, Jr. All right, panel, you've had your look. Let's now have a listen to the contents of this affidavit, copies of which you have before you. I, Robert L. Scott, Jr., Brigadier General, United States Air Force, retired, flew a plane solo for the first time when I was 14 years old. Since that time, I have spent 19,000 hours at the controls of single-seat fighter aircraft. During World War II, I flew with General Claire Chenault, Flying Tigers. In 388 combat missions, I destroyed 13 enemy aircraft. I am the author of a number of books. One of them sold more than two million copies and was made into a motion picture. Its title, God is My Co-Pilot. Signed, Robert L. Scott, Jr. Panel, as you heard, these three gentlemen all claim now to be Robert L. Scott, Jr., Brigadier General, United States Air Force. We start this cross-examination with John Cameron Swayze. John, please. W number two, will you explain, please, how you happened to fly a, fly a plane at the age of 14? Well, I had the desire to fly a plane, and I had a little bit of money. <laughs> and I, uh, without the knowledge of my parents, I bought a Jenny, an auction sale and decided to fly it. And you made a safe landing? I did. Number one, what inspired your bestseller that was made into the movie? Well, I felt that it would be a good idea to explain how a pilot felt at times when he was up there all alone. And uh, I had an inspiration for the title, and it sounded like one that uh, some of you fellas would dream up that would be a good story. So I wrote it, and it turned out uh, pretty good. Kitty? Number one, who is Danny Arnstein? <clears throat> well, he's, uh, he claimed, or at least there's a lot of reports, that he had a lot to do with, or he did some work over there on the Lido Road. Thank you. Number one, number two, who is Dr. Margaret Chung? She is the um, sister of uh, General Miss Mo Chang Shek. Number three, have you ever run across Commodore Barnett Hart in your military career? No, I haven't. Uh, number three, uh, name some of the other books that you've written. Down to Glory, the Runway to the Sun, uh, Between the Elephant's Eyes, uh, look of the eagle. Racing with the moon. I'm afraid that's all the time we have for that one. Jim, how about you? Well, it says here that you uh, you served in the, uh, obviously, the Asiatic theater. Uh, flying, number one, flying the hump. What is the exact location, uh, geographic lo location of the hump? Well, that's the Himalaya Mountains over there in uh, Asia between uh, Burma, China, mm -hmm. India, China. Yeah, my, my brother... Shot down 12 planes, they were all ours. Uh, <laughs> number two, how much did your book sell for? I mean, the, the one uh, that says on the affidavit, God is my co-pilot, was made in the motion picture. What was the, the sale? What did that sell on the stand? $2.75. Polly? Uh, <laughs> number three, who played the lead in the motion picture? Uh, Dennis Morgan. Uh, where was the picture produced? In California. Number one, what studio was the picture made at? Uh, Warner Brothers. Where is that studio located? Out there in Burbank. <laughs> Out there in Burbank? <laughs> uh, number two, uh, is there a certain number of planes you have to shoot down in order to be an ace or become uh, get the title of being an ace? Well, it uh, varied in World War II, if that's what you mean. Uh, it was five planes. I see. Uh, number one, who is Bill? Right I'm awful sorry, but our time is up, so it's time to vote. Which means without consultation, as before, would you please mark your ballot, panel? 
and select thereby number one, number two, or number three. I'll set her. Are you still musing, Polly? You mark? Yeah. For whom? Well, I voted for number one. Uh, more than a hunch. I picked him standing up there, though I must say that I almost switched to number three. But I, I, I'll stay with my hunch, which is number okay. one. Okay. John, your vote? But I didn't switch. I'm not going to change horses. I'm still with number three. <laughs> and Kitty, what was your thought? I voted for number three because he didn't know who Commodore Barnett Hart was, and that's my father-in-law, and he's going to be 95 tomorrow, and I want to wish him a very happy birthday. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sneaky, but we join you, believe me. All right, Jim? Uh, I voted for number one, well, because he just behaves like the perfect ace that he is, and uh, and he knew where Warner's was. He <laughs> very, and I would cast him in the part. You would? Yes. Okay, there you have it now. You've had the rhymes and the reasons that made our panel vote the way they did. How did you do? Let's find out, shall we? As we discover which one of these stalwart gentlemen is the real Brigadier General United States Air Force. So will the real Robert L. Scott, Jr., please stand up. <laughs> well, you could have winked at me or something so I'd switch. <laughs> you didn't well, they all look just typecast. Yeah, they, they sure really did. did. They sure did. Well, now, let's see. Number one, you tell us who you really are and what you really do? Uh, my name is Charles M. Brooks. I am director of industrial relations for the Texas company. Texaco, you know. <laughs> uh, number two, what about you, sir? My name is Edward S. Tate. I'm a sales engineer for the Johnson Service Company, manufacturers and contractors in automatic temperature and humidity control. Thank you, sir. Well, there were, uh, again, two incorrect votes at $250 each for a total of $500. And, Gerato, before we say goodnight to you, General Scott, you've flown a mighty long way. Now, with uh, with missiles coming into the picture, are the days of the pilot over, do you think? Absolutely not, Bud. They are just beginning, really. The young pilots coming into the Air Force today are the luckiest people in the world really? because they're going to be the space pilots of tomorrow. Just wish I were going to be one of them enlisting tomorrow. So I could fly higher and further and faster. Wow. Oh. Never stops, does it, huh? Eh? Well, thanks so much, gentlemen. Good night and the best of good luck to you.